So yeah, I never really imagined the channel would get this big. I have to say that. Oh, nice. Simmons, report in. That was awesome. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm afraid you're now in Mountain Glen subterranean levels. This area has become even more dangerous since our last uh, visit. So be careful. Nice. Um, for the channel, I never imagined it would get this big. What I'd like to do is keep working on it for as long as I'm able. Uh, for as long as I'm able to produce good, entertaining content, I'd like to do that. If ever comes a time when I begin half-assing it, if I stop caring, if I don't live up to a good standard that I set for myself, then I'm going to stop. Because, quite frankly, I believe if you're going to spend your time doing something, might as well enjoy it and do it right. I have a... Uh, kind of a goal I set my, uh, for myself. Before I make any video, I think, and I'm talking with my hands again, <laughs> which is why Ruby's not moving. I think to myself, can this video get more than a thousand views within one month? That's not me trying to, you know, hit a quota or for some ego thing. I think if I put that as like a benchmarker, as people's interest, I want to make things that people can enjoy. I want, if someone's had a long day, a hard day, a rough day, or just a boring day, I want someone to be able to watch my videos and just enjoy themselves for a time. Get that little bit of escapism, which I think everybody needs from time to time. I want people to be able to sit down and enjoy what I do, to be able to laugh, to be able to, you know, get the feels, depending on what video they're watching. And that is the main focus, so as long as I can continue to do that, I will. And if there ever comes a time when I can't, for whatever reason, then I would shut it down until hopefully I can pick it up again. Uh, as for my life, um, like I said, I like to be a teacher. I want to start as a... I'm actually applying to be a substitute within the next few months. Uh, I'm studying to be a teacher now, and I'm also studying to be a uh, professor, so as soon as I get the criteria for that, I'm gonna well, try my hand at it at least. Because I love to explain things, I love to teach, I love to I love just seeing people learn and actually enjoy it. Back in high school, back in middle school, back in elementary, I honestly cannot remember the bullies, can't remember the early crushes, but I can remember the teachers that actually gave a damn. The ones who really wanted to watch people learn, to help them grow, to just understand and care about the material in their future. And I always had the utmost respect for that, and I like to, uh, I like to be able to do that one day. Just inspire people. And last question, Mr. Spiderhair, might want to get that looked at, uh, unless of course you know the Queen of Blades. At which point, that's that's pretty cool. You know, it works for her. Good on you. How did you learn to edit AMVs? Uh, I didn't. That's the uh, the fun part. Back in high school, I had a. Uh, I always, I always do that. There was a, uh, I had a TV production class, and we used a very, very basic... I just held down tab because I'm trying to turn the light on my Pip-Boy on. You now know I'm playing way too much Fallout. Um, we had a very basic video editing, but nothing really... Why can't I... Okay, here we go. Nothing really in-depth. Nothing that I do now. And... Um, it wasn't until I bought the software and just kind of did trial and error. I slowly figured out what worked, what didn't, what looked good, what really didn't. And I just kind of tried to go from there. If I heard of any particular, you know, tricks or techniques, I'd look it up online. But for the most part, it was just trial and error. Move stuff around, see what worked, see what fit. You can actually watch from my early videos. There are distinct points when I learn how to do a certain type of effect or transition or you know, what have you, and I just keep using it from then on. So you can actually watch the progress of my videos. And uh, a big... Am I going back the way I came? Yeah, I am. And a big part of that is learning my style. Like, the first video I made, uh, I tried using a little bit of topography, I tried using what I could for filters and lighting and effects and stuff like that. And quite frankly, I didn't like it. When it came out, it didn't feel right. I tried to do, you know, what was popular, what everyone was doing, and, you know, they were able to make it work. Clearly, I wasn't. It just didn't... It didn't mesh with me. 
so I eventually found my own editing style, found my own uh, groove. God, that makes me sound old. And I've been using that ever since. So if you're interested in making AMVs, don't worry about, you know, a proper editing education. Don't worry too much about that. Just, you know, get your hands on some cheap software. Legally, of course. I got mine for like $30 on sale. And uh, have fun. Play around, test it out. Don't get discouraged with your first few, because my first one is... I'm not a fan of that. I mean... It's kind of banned in North America for totally unrelated reasons, I'm sure. Start looking for a way out. This game immediately like takes a 180 and now it's like slender. I just like walk up here like, hey look, it's a note. Hmm. He's behind you. Oh god. As soon as I said that and I turned around, those little do you see the little like flex falling from the ceiling, a little glowing bit? One was right over in that corner and just kind of vanished when I, for a second, it freaked me out because I thought it was like an eye looking at me. Anyway, um, yeah, to anyone who's interested in making AMVs, I'd say pick up some relatively cheap software, try your hand at it, don't get discouraged with your first few, take what constructive criticism you can, and, you know, go with it. Make sure, you know, you know what songs you can legally use, look up which ones you can, uh, you can play on YouTube. And have fun with it, because this has been this has been great, honestly. And I think this is a good time to call it for now. I might come back and do a part two, not sure. But for now, I'd just like to say once again, thank you to everybody, first off, for watching my video. And thank you for supporting my channel. It means a lot the past year, the reason I started editing, there, there's been there's been some really rough stuff. And I started editing as a way to kind of, you know, take my mind off it for a while. In a situation where I had absolutely no control whatsoever, editing gave me that way to have total and perfect control over the situation. Every scene, every second, every frame, I had complete control over that. And that's just something I needed when in my real life, I didn't really have any control over what was going on. So, the support I got, the just the kind words I get from people who like my videos, it's meant a lot to me, and I want to thank everyone for that. There we go. Look what I, found. I got the shiny. Now we get Swifty. And I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if this goes over well, I'll do some more. If it doesn't go over well, I apologize for that, and uh, I hope you stick around for my AMVs. The channel's gonna continue to be like AMV centered, even if I start doing a few less plays. It's still gonna be like the main focus of it. So don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not cashing out for less plays just yet. Oh crap! Oh god, they're all here. Everyone brought their friends. Been to win. Oh, what the hell? Oh, we got Tofu over here. I didn't even notice him. I keep headbutting him. I don't know why. One day I'll win. I want that to be an upgrade. You can now headbutt Tofu and win. I'd love it if someone just, like, watched my video, didn't really watch the whole thing, just kind of cut to the end of it. Just like, oh, okay, well, you'll have to see how it ends. They just come into that one bit, you know. I want there to be an ability where you can headbutt Tofu and win. Just let him just, you know, reflect on that for a bit. Anyway, um, I've been Elemental Dar. I'll continue to be Elemental Dar for as long as I have a YouTube channel. And, you know, until next time, good luck and have fun all. For the Gardeners!